Alright, Mitchell, I need you to tell me. Put your eye patch back on. Don't look like no eye patch. Alright, Mitchell, I, I need you to tell me what are you fighting for? I'm fighting for all regular sized people everywhere. There was a man, and this was no ordinary man. This wasn't someone that you'd find in the history books, no. This man went by the name of Captain Walnut Mitchell. He was an Irish sailor. Him and his potato boys, they'd sail up and down the seas day after day. They were feared and respected by everyone in the Pacific Ocean. That is until one day, they came across a small island inhabited by a tribe. The leader of this tribe was a abnormality upon man. He was at least 15 feet tall. He went by many names. The Green Bean Giant, Stonewall Jackson, Either way, Captain Longnips didn't like him. He had a fear of tall people. He had a hatred of tall people. And he knew what he needed to do next. And that's where our story begins. No giants. No ten footers, nothing. This is just mono e mono. Regular sized man versus behemoth. The gentleman will let me hit the jewel before I duel. You're no gentleman, you're Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be Mitchell. laughing too if I had a golden goose. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Well I'd be laughing too if I was wearing flip-flops. Ha oh. oh. ha! Oh. 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 Okay. Captain Longnips, he wanted to rid the earth of such a giraffe-like monstrosity. And so, he challenged him to a duel. Mitchell, who are you? Me? The world needs to know who you are. I'm Jack the Giant Slayer. That's who I am. Come on, where's, man. Where's the giant? <laughs> Let's do this. Like men. 15 steps, remember. 15 steps. suffered a humiliating defeat and was blinded in the process. Years passed and he slowly started to lose the respect that he once had. His potato boys would throw him off of the ship, watch him flail around trying to get back and laugh at him. This continued until one day Captain Lulnips decided to go back to the island. He'd had enough. He needed a rematch. Turns out, as expected, the giant did have the upper hand on me. But he's not gonna be so lucky this time. I got injured in war. You can see him over there. 
he's doing his thing. He's, he's, he's peeing on where I fell in battle. So anyway, he's going down this time. This time we got the big old baby. 100 shots of explosives. Does he know? No. Does I, do, does I care? No. But this is where it's going, and this is how it's going to end. I'm going to get the goose, and I'm going to get the golden egg, and I will be number one. During another squabble between Captain Long Nips and Green Bean Dave, blinded by his white rage, the bean did not take it. Wait. <laughs> Captain Long Nips had a trick up his sleeve. But the giant caught wind of this. And upon hearing, he summoned the power of his ancestors. All gentlemen's rules were thrown out the window. And Captain Longnips, well, he was in trouble. Captain Longnips was in trouble. <laughs> Valhalla! 